to Yeah, we like happy there. endings. We like right. happy endings like that. <laughs> yeah, okay, always, Kristen's always. telling us, Anne, that we could see uh, all the rain tonight that we should have had for the whole month of September. For Yeah, for where we should be right now in September. That's so, crazy. you know, we've only had seven hundredths of an inch. Right now we should be at almost an inch. So many of us could pick up almost an inch of rain tonight, if not an inch of rain for parts of the Willamette Valley. You get down to the coast of the coast range, and hey, there we could pick up one to maybe even two inches of rain. So we're just dealing with the light stuff right now, but even that slowing the cars down out there. So this whole storm system moving in just in time, too, as we get through our first full day of fall. It definitely feels like it outside. We're in the mid 60s right now. The winds are calm. They'll pick up a little bit for us here in the valley, but out along the coast, we're going to have strong winds there. Here's a look at the breakdown again for the rain uh, between tonight and tomorrow morning, uh, anywhere from half an inch, perhaps up to three quarters of an inch uh, of rain in the valley, and then one to two inches at the coast. Breezy conditions for the coast tonight. The strongest winds push in just, just along that front, uh, 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts, and then we could still see some gustiness tomorrow and then watching out for the debris flow, especially around those bar burn scars as we get some of that heavier rain too that could really uh, throw a wrench in things in those areas. Mid-60s or 7 o'clock, the wind stays steady and light as we head through most of the evening. 9 o'clock too, just that steady light rain uh, with temperatures in the mid-60s. Temperature steady, wind steady, rain steady. We get closer to midnight, that rain starts to pick up a little bit and it gets uh, between moderate and heavy as we head through the overnight hours and into very early tomorrow morning. So 60s overnight tonight, cloudy, rain. Rain heavy at times, and it'd also be a little bit breezy at times. We could see some gusts in the valley between 20 and 25 miles an hour tomorrow morning, very early in the morning. So if you're making that commute early, you still may run into some of that heavy rain that may limit visibility. But uh, by mid morning, it starts to taper off a bit. And then once we get through the morning, we're just looking at the shower activity, kind of the pop up shower activity tomorrow. So mostly cloudy skies. We may see a peak or two of sunshine, and then watching for a few stray showers to pop up here and there. But most of the heavy stuff comes in tonight. You can see that. Steady light rain around the metro area, all of Portland getting in on it, and it spreads back to the west, up and down the coast from Newport up to Astoria, down towards Salem. Uh, not as much for you at this point, but we will start to see some of those uh, rain showers fill in a little bit as we head to the overnight hours. Winds still not terrible along the coast right now, but those will definitely be picking up over the next few hours and especially overnight tonight. Here we are at 7 p.m. The heaviest rain still off the coast, but you can see that steady rain sticking around as we head through the midnight hour. That heavy rain moves on in. It moves in through tomorrow morning, and by late morning, here we are at 10 a.m., everything's slowing down. We just have the cloud cover in place with some of the heavier showers focused more along the Cascades, and then as it heads east of the Cascades, it does start to break up, and then you get into far eastern Oregon, and we're going to be looking at more sunshine for you tomorrow afternoon with the clouds staying persistent along central portions of the state and back towards the coast and, of course, up into southwest Washington, too. 8 p.m. tomorrow, still a few pop-up showers here and there with showers staying more steady along the Cascades, and then as we go into Thursday, we start to see those chances go down a bit. So for the coast tonight, heaviest rain for you, up to two inches in spots, winds gusting to 50 miles an hour tomorrow. The rain slows down, just a few showers here and there, cloudy skies, winds gusting to 35 and 40, highs in the 60s for you. Heading inland, we'll have the heavy rain overnight. Tomorrow morning, it starts to taper, and then watching for a few pop-up showers in the afternoon, upper 60s, so still staying cool. Central Oregon in the 60s with shower chances for you. You get into eastern Oregon, Baker City down to Burns, and we could be talking low to mid 80s with sunshine there, so quite a difference there. Cascades in the gorge, showers stick around through a lot of the day. Through the gorge, too, we'll have to watch for some of those showers with it staying cool. And then your forecast here as we look ahead, Thursday, mostly cloudy, a chance for a few showers, shower chances start to let up a bit Friday. Temperatures in the low 70 this weekend. Definitely not a rain out. Just a slight chance we may see a hit or miss shower here and there and then rain chances again early next week. So once we get through tonight, really it's not nearly as wet for the rest of the week, but it stays kind of unsettled. Yeah, it seems like we're kind of easing into fall. Sure <laughs> is. Yeah. Right on time too. Can you, can you believe it? No. I know, right. When does that happen?